What's up, Chicago? It's Jamon Bushrod, and this is Bears Life. Uh, from my point of view, I get up pretty early. Uh, I go to work. I come home, you know, after after practice and meetings and all that good stuff. Um, then when I get home, you know, I get to see my two babies. And I get to spend some time with my wife. So I'm a family guy now. I don't have too much going on. It's just, uh, you know, waiting on uh, having a nice cooked meal. I, may, I might get in the pool a little bit. I don't I do not do too much. A day in the life with Jermaine, I'm saying, it'll have to be bird watching. You know, you might get a little excitement here and there when they swoop down into the ocean. But other than, other than that, you just see them soaring in the sky. So it's not much great TV. You know, the day in the life of, of Jermaine, you know, Jermaine is an offensive lineman, which are, you know, dirty, grimy, you know, offensive lineman type of guys. But it, him off the field, he's kind of like, uh, he's kind of like I would say, you know, he likes fashion and style and stuff. And like, he's got, you know, some red bottom shoes on over there. And, uh, you know, he's not, he's not the, the boring offensive lineman type. We kind of redid this whole, we redid this whole basement within the last few months. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going, it's going pretty good. It's, um, we got here, that's my firstborn, obviously. Um, <clears throat> we got a game ball from the Super Bowl. Uh, this one, we just did the same concept, you know, with, uh, with my daughter, Jayla. Um, it's kind of it's kind of like my favorite part of this room, truthfully. I think our last week of mini camp, Gail Sayers came by. I think it was the, yeah, it was the last week of mini camp. He came by, he, he talked to the team, he let us know how it was to be a bear, and we got to hear him, uh, got to hear him talk about what he's doing now, his time in the NFL. So I think that was uh, that was pretty neat. You know, it's pretty neat to to see a legend like that, you know, right in front of your eyes and seeing what he's doing now with his life is pretty uh, it's pretty encouraging. Favorite favorite baseball player in Kyle Ripken, the Iron Man, and we got uh, Magic Johnson down there. And yeah, that picture is actually something my wife got for me. What first birthday together? Second? No, Valentine's Day. Yeah. The Michael Jordan. Oh yeah, 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 that's what it was. And, uh, <laughs> one of those occasions. Yeah, one one of those one of those occasions. Um, we haven't been yeah. able to hang it up yet, though. I mean, out of every picture I had, that's my favorite one right there. I mean, I grew up watching Jordan. Uh, I've donated plenty of money to his uh, shoe line. Why not have him up here? I want to say this is this is not this is not my actual game jersey. That one's hidden. I don't I don't I don't really tell people where that one is. But this is like our practice one. I actually I don't know if you can see it. There's a mustard stain on here somewhere. <laughs> that it came from, you see that, it's right there, right? We were in the Super Bowl parade and uh, me and a couple other, guy, other guys, I mean, we were on this flow for like three hours. I think the parade was like four or five hours. So me and a few of the guys, we jumped off of, uh, jumped off the float. I'm right down here and there's all these people and we jumped off of a float, off this float. And like the whole crowd just parted ways so we could go to the food stand, and I think we got like a towel. <laughs> I don't know what kind of food we got. Obviously, I got something with mustard, and I got it halfway down my shirt. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty special to me, even though it's not my game jersey. But it's it's a Super Bowl replica one, and it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. I got the whole offense to sign in gold in here, and I got the defense to sign the rest of it. The hair getting a part of our life. Well, this is a part of our life. We got toys everywhere. Uh, yeah, this is all pretty self-explanatory, you know. You got Super Bowl helmet, college helmet, go Towson. You know, some, some memorabilia stuff. 2011 Pro Bowl jersey. Uh, this is one of my favorite things here. My offensive line coach from Towson. Got this made for me. Uh, he got the Towson on one side, the Saints on the other side, and the Bears right here. I really enjoyed my time here in Chicago, uh, getting to know him, being just here in his system and, 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 and buying into his beliefs. Um, you know, we're all in, you know. Uh, like you were saying, he's a, he's a great offensive mind. He's always trying to find a way for 
for us to get better offensively man, and defensively. So, you know, we can't win the game without defensive special teams. But uh, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the Mark Tr uh, Trestman era, and, you know, uh, I'm excited about our future. I'm excited about this year. Probably running out on uh, running out in Soldier Field for the first time and, and and winning that opening game, I thought that was pretty neat. And I would say uh, I think beating Green Bay in Green Bay was pretty it's pretty significant too, especially how the whole rivalry is Green Bay Chicago rivalry and the fact that we were able to go there and get that W on Monday night was pretty big in my eyes. Jay puts a lot of work in, man. You know. Uh, like you were saying, um, I think they're two very, very hardworking guys. Uh, but you know, the, the image you get from the media or, or different things like that, and when they don't really know you, it can be kind of heartbreaking, you know? But I see the way that he works. I see the extra time that he puts in, not just with himself and the coaches, but with other players. Uh, definitely away from the locker room, the, 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 the time he puts in with these guys, the extra time he puts in with these guys in training camp and, and, and uh, just getting together just to try to learn this playbook and uh, seeing how he's uh, getting better physically, mentally. Uh, you know, it motivates the rest of us to go out and, and, and make ourselves better and, and, and work just as hard as he's working. And, uh, you know, I've, I've got to know him, got to know his family. Um, He's, he's an awesome guy. It's a lot of history here. Uh, a lot of history from a long time ago. Um, a lot of people in the Hall of Fame, you know, they've, they've put out some of the best teams and the best individual players this league has ever seen. And uh, the fact that I get this opportunity to play here uh, after playing in a great place like New Orleans, I get the opportunity to come here. Uh, it's pretty significant. Um, it's, it's, it's a blessing for sure, and the family enjoys it. We enjoy Yeah, I am daddy. I am daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting him, I don't think either one of us were looking for a relationship. So we met in New Orleans, of course, when he played for the Saints. And then things just, I mean, we eventually we moved in together. Um, I think shortly after that, that's when he won the Super Bowl. I guess we started talking a little bit more about the future once we, I guess, moved in. Well, we got married in New Orleans, and then actually right before our wedding is when we found out that we'd be coming here. So everything within this past year has been like fast forward because we didn't know where we would end up and we ended up here and I'm glad that we ended up in that place that we did because it is a great place for kids and family but never in a million years did I think I would ever leave New Orleans I mean I lived there for 27 years in, in life that's what you that's what I look forward to doing you know having kids raising kids and and being able to be blessed enough to purchase a home and and do the things that we want to do and uh, it's just a, you know it's a pretty special thing when you have somebody else that you know you're really living for now and your kids and um and, and you can be able to to do things for them that maybe you didn't do or you can show them experiences that that you've done or or, or you've been through so you know i just think uh you know i'm blessed it's a unique opportunity for for myself and especially for my family